Shalom. Kahala Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem. Raka Kadash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who rule well, who taught me this truth. Enough respect and salutations to the fellow Akim, the house of David, the hopefully elect. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Baraka Thumb to you, Akim, as well as the sincere Agwa that are listening and learning. So, when you have war, you have spoils of war. You have plunder, you have robbing, you have sexual violence. And in this case, identifying and targeting Esau Edom, the so-called white man, as the beast, you see what fingerprints and what footprints he have left behind. Therefore, you could follow the fugitive as he is. And these are the patterns of a vagabond, right? Plunder, robbing. Sexual violence, and of course, they do it under the guise of war. You see? This is Obadiah, verse 6. How are the things of Esau searched out? How are his hidden things sought up? And we got a few articles queued up here. Because the Lord is revealing the son of perdition. Okay? And who he is. And if you don't know this information already, whenever Esau Edom all right, starts a war, there's violence, there's women, and there's children involved. In this case here, let's click on this one. All right. They put a few quote, and this is from theconversation.com. They put a few coins in your hands to drop a baby in you 265 stories of Haitian children abandoned by you and fathers. All right. You see, this is the biggest rapist, the biggest uh, uh, sexual violent predator on the earth. But see, the Lord has given this man dominion, as in Job 9 and 24 tells you. But he comes nothing but to wit. Let's get that in the book of John. It's the book of St. John, chapter 10, verse 10. It says, The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. So we understand who this man is by just looking at the patterns. Okay? And there's a parable in Matthew that I want to get. We might as well go ahead and get to it. And we're going to get a, uh, another article and pull out a few more precepts, Lord willing. But this is a parable. Um, Matthew, St. Matthew chapter 13, starting at 24. It says, another parable put he forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is like unto a man which sowed good seed in his field. But when the enemy slept, his enemy, Salakia, but when men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat. And went his way. And again, Esau Edom does this by the way of war. By the way of saying, let's keep the peace. Let's bring peace. Let's bring uh, 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 democracy. Let's bring a system. You know, thinking that um, these second and third world countries don't know how to run shit. Right? Well, they've been living just fine. Before you got there. Okay. And again. How are you keeping peace. When you having weapons in one hand. Alright. Guns strapped to your bullets. And what have you. And. You sitting around here. Uh, raping children. For a few pennies on a dollar. And this the plundering. This is the. Uh, uh, robbing. You know. This is the sexual violence. That comes. From Esau Edom. You see? Let's go back. It says. <clears throat> verse 26. But when the blade was sprung up. He brought forth fruit. Then appeared the tares also. So you have. All right. Two nations. Which in this case would be. Uh, the Edomites and the Israelites. Right? The man that slept. Would be in this case. The Israelites, the enemy that came in and sold mon uh, sold tares amongst the wheat, all right, is Esau Edom. 
right? And this is what they have been doing, all right, since uh, 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 the French Revolution, all the way up until this last war on terrorists. You best believe that Esau Edom has fathered children in each and every country he has invaded, not got by uh, uh, righteousness, by righteous dealings, but unrighteous dealings has he got the world, the inhabitants. You see? Let's go to uh, 27. It says, So the servants of the household came and said unto him, Sir, there's not thou sow good seed in thy field? From whence then hath it tares? You see, it says, hey, didn't you, did you not sow good seed? You know? Verse 28, he said unto them, an enemy hath done this. And this is when we point the finger. All this time, the enemy, the adversary, Esau, Edom, the wicked, the son of perdition, has been pointing the finger at each and every other nation, all right, on the planet, but himself. Now we're pointing the finger. It says, the servant said unto him, Will thou then that we go and gather them up? But he said, No, nay. So like it, but he said, Nay, least while ye gather of the tares, ye root up also the wheat with them. Yeah, the righteous with them. So when you're going, uh, you can't do the harvest, you can't start the harvest before it's harvest season. You see? Because you'll gather everything together. But you have a righteous amongst the wheat, uh, a righteous amongst the tares, which is the wheat. And you have the wicked amongst the uh, uh, righteous, which are uh, uh, the tares amongst the righteous. It says, let them both grow together until the harvest. You see that? And in the time of harvest, I would say to the reapers, gather ye together first the tares and bind them in bundles to burn them. You're going to have men and women coming looking like us but they're not of us all that they say of Israel are not of Israel roughly paraphrasing you're going to have uh, as in they did the same thing we were scattered amongst you know the nations as well so what are we going to do we're going to take wives of, of other nations alright such as uh, the story of Ruth alright you can, you can check that out go read that you see it says, and bind them in bundles to burn them, but gather the wheat into my barn. And the wheat are the pretty much elect that's hoping to get a delivered amongst the tares that looks like us. And you're going to have, again, people that look like the other nations coming and look, uh, coming uh, um, with us because they are of us. They are of the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right? But brought that parable out just to go back to the to these articles here man UN peacekeepers in Haiti said to have fathered hundreds of children what they did in Vietnam the story ain't came out just yet about Afghanistan you know but these are the spoils of war this is what you do get you can do it under the righteous banner of the laws of Yahweh Shem Yahweh or you can do it under the wicked which is Esau Edom. It says women and girls, and girls now, to you people that, uh, <laughs> that's all about age, you know, it says we're left behind to face poverty, social stigma, and single motherhood in the Western Hemisphere's poorest country, Haiti. And just what we just had in Haiti last week, man. A magnificent earthquake, the works of the Lord. All right. See, how about Shem Yahushua is going to cut off nephew and uh, son from you uh, uh, Edomites, man. And rightfully so. Let's see. Let's go back. <laughs> you know, and not only that, they are trafficking. You see, you see all this, this shit ties up. Here it is again. You in peacekeepers. You got the beast rolling around in the Western Hemisphere. They're coming here too, so hey, you women, you highly uh, sought out IG models, you 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 TikTok and you bust it challenge and you, um, um, what's that called, uh, OnlyFans models, 
get ready. Because, again, they're coming with grenades strapped to their chest with AKs and, and AR-15s, man. And they're not coming to negotiate with you. Right? <laughs> Give you some bread because the famine is going to be going on. It, hey, it's a lot going to take place in these latter times that we tell you about, man. Okay? Matter of fact, let's get that. I got that highlighted. Sirach 13 and 4. If thou be for his prophet, he will use thee. But if thou have nothing, he will forsake thee. Again, we're, we're understanding that the children that's born unto these uh, uh, women was fathers by these UN peacekeepers, by these Vietnam War veterans, by these World War IIs. And then Esau right into laws. Hey, you get, you get to have your children come over here. But most of them can't find their fathers because they gave them false identities. That's a pattern of a fugitive. You see? And what did they go over to Vietnam for? <laughs> the poppy seeds, man. You see? What did they go to uh, Afghan country for, man? So-called Afghan country, man. The op opium. You know? All to keep his uh, uh, pharmacia, you know, afloat. To keep you people dumbed down. Again, the thief come nothing but the rob, steal, and destroy, man. You see? How the things of Esau searched out. Job 12 and 6, the tabernacles of robbers prosper, and they that provoke the most high are secure. Into whose hand the most high bringeth abundantly. You see that? So the most high will allow these things to happen. Only he will let, will now let him until he be taken out of the way. Let's jump to 10. It says, in whose hand is the soul of every living, cre uh, every living thing and the breath of all mankind. So if we understand in Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. We understand the Lord is allowing this man to do these things. Allowing him to destroy and plunder and pillage and rob and sexual uh, 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 predatize and, <laughs> and just violence and war, man. Continual is, it, is in this man's heart, man. But the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh is allowing him to do so, man. And this is what you got to understand. Like, why is this happening? Why is this taking place? Well, we're going to the scriptures to tell you. Psalm 17 and 14, from men which are thy hand, uh-oh, O Lord, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, from men of the world, which have their portion in this life, and whose belly thou fillest with thy head treasure. That's right. Because it's not all about um, the, the, the C notes, as they say. The gold and the silver, you do have uh, a precious and, uh, uh, you know, very valuable resources on the planet Earth, such as oil. Right? That can be made, what well, you can make gas out of that. You see? You have certain uh, uh, herbs, all right? Plants and, and, and trees and, and, and minerals and, and stones that can be gathered for righteousness. But Esau uses for wickedness. You know? It says they are full of children. That, that it is. <laughs> and they leave the rest of their substance to their babes. You see that? So the Lord is doing this, man. And again, the spoils of war are in the scriptures. There's nothing wrong with that. All right? You got your time. As, as the scripture tells us, hey, rejoice and be glad. That cup going to go through you also, and it's going to be filled double. This is Numbers 31 and 9, just an example. And the children of Israel took all the women of Midian captives and their little ones and took the spoil of their cattle, of all their cattle and all their flocks and all their goods. You see that? You know, and this this is com this comes from war, spoils of war. And this last war is going to be a magnificent warfare, man. Starting with the insurrections, the civil, and the class wars within the United States. 
of itself. You have proxy wars taking place. You have the weak saying, I'm strong. You can find that in Joel. Everything is ramping up, man. Right? So let's end this off in the book of Psalms, chapter 73. And verse 6. And, and most of you probably already knew this. You already knew that this man was uh, pretty much taking these women of, of other nations, these foreign nations, and dropping children in them. All right? But we're supposed to be the deadbeat dads. The so-called black man in America had no strength, no money, no war uh, tactics, no uh, salakia, no armies, no banks to fund armies. But we're the deadbeats. You see how the, the roles are, are, are reversed? See, but this is how the things of Esau searched out, man. You see? 73 and 6, Psalm 73 and verse 6. Therefore, pride compasseth them about as a chain. Violence covereth them as a garment. There's nowhere they can go. They wear violence like a, like a, like a garment. They wear violence like a uniform. You can tell it by the uniform. Motherfucking camouflage uniform. You know he out to get you. It says their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than their heart could wish. Why? Because they are fugitive. They are vagabonds. And the earth is given into their hands. See? Let's go on and get that and I'll close it out. Lamentations 4 and 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, thou dwellest, that dwellest in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shalt make thyself naked. So when you got women and your children, guess what they're going to do? They're going to get plundered. They're going to get ravished. They're going to get put to work when the kingdom of heaven is established by Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And with that, Lord willing, I was edifying and comforting on to the next one. Shalom.